Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a follow-up on that Lionel 246 that uh, arrived about, oh, I don't know, an hour ago, something like that. So as you can see, I've touched up the paint, I've installed a headlight, and this actually looks quite respectable. Nine bucks on eBay. Now, the uh, light bulb was actually missing, and uh, the Lionel, this Lionel, the 246, uses a bayonet mount bulb, uh, uses actually a six volt bayonet mount bulb. I didn't have one. So I modified a standard E10 base bulb and uh, temporarily put it in there just so it has a headlight. So tonight, maybe tomorrow, I'll run down to the uh, automotive store and get an automotive bulb with a uh, bayonet mount and install it. But as you can see, this actually looks quite respectable. Just a light spray of uh, black paint directly over the uh, silver that had been painted on it. And it's up and running, it has a headlight. This also has magnet traction. So like I said, it was definitely worth the nine bucks. So let's take this around with this new paint job and its new headlight. Fifty percent power. And as you see, this is running just absolutely perfectly. So it looks nice. It runs well, and it was really, really cheap. Even with shipping, it was 18 bucks. So $9 for the uh, locomotive itself, and I think it was $8.16 to ship it in that flat rate box. So it looks nice, it runs really, really well. It has magnet traction, it has a new headlight, and you would never know this thing had uh, arrived looking like a Frankenstein monster. It actually looks quite good. So the numbers are intact, I just masked those off, pulled the motor out, installed that headlight, a light spray of black paint, and this looks almost new. And it has magnet traction, so nothing negative about this at all. It was definitely worth the nine bucks, there's no doubt about that. Like I said, Lionel, usually they're uh, expensive and I don't buy them. And the only time I do buy them is when I can get them absolutely dirt cheap. And in this case, money well spent. Nine bucks for a perfectly running Lionel 246 with magnet traction. And as you see, you would never know that someone had painted that silver with a brush. It's actually quite respectable looking. It's far from perfect, but even so, it looks quite good, as you can see. You would never know that uh, somebody had tacked this with a paintbrush with silver paint. It looks quite respectable. It runs good. It was dirt cheap. It has magnet traction. It has a working headlight. It's uh, completely black again, and uh, I'm really pleased with this. This thing's been here a grand total of an hour and 20 minutes, something like that, hour and a half at the most. And uh, I haven't done anything with the push rods yet as far as uh, cleaning them up. I uh, concentrated on getting that body resprayed. So I just masked off the uh, numbers, and as you can see, it blended perfectly. You'd never know this has been resprayed. So it looks nice. It runs really, really well forward and reverse. It has magnet traction, has a new headlight. There is uh, absolutely nothing wrong with this locomotive. It runs just absolutely splendidly as you can see. So, a fun quick project, really inexpensive, original Lionel 246, nine bucks on eBay. So, I gotta say it, don't overlook the junk. You know, when I first saw this, I was going to buy it for parts. But as you can see, this is running just absolutely splendidly. Pulling 12 Lionel cars. This is a complete Lionel consist, in fact. With the exception of the tender. That's actually a Mark's tender that I've uh, modified with uh, a rear Lionel truck. And I still need to get a uh, light bulb for it. So, like I said, I'll go down to the automotive store and pick up a six volt bayonet mount bulb, and then that will be complete. But that black paint covered up all that silver that had been put on there with a brush. 
the blue is gone, the uh, speckles of paint are gone. This actually looks quite respectable, and you would never know it's been repainted. This actually looks quite, quite good. So all in all, it was definitely worth the nine bucks. There's no doubt about that. And a few minutes of my time. And as you can see, this actually looks quite good. So I just want to do a quick follow-up video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's Trains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.